Hey, this is Josh from Crescent Moon Games, and I'm the game director of Screenbound. Hi, and I'm Kyle. I am the developer of Screenbound. And we're here today to talk about the development of the game. I think I think you were the one that brought it up uh, first, too, was just, well, what if we unlock it and it's just kind of like an F FPS? And yeah, it was it was immediate when I when I was developing that and implementing that it was it immediately it was like okay <laughs> this feels good i i got that i got that uh sent over to you and you tried it out and i yeah i guess you you can say for yourself but it seemed to be like oh my god this is it yeah that was sort of like the the light bulb moment or the eureka moment where it just clicked with the game mechanic of being able to look around and the, the character in 2d just turns 180 but the character in fps can do any range of looking and it felt like all of a sudden the whole game's mechanic was fully realized. I'll find myself being like, wait, what, what did you mean by that again? Like 2D or 3D? Wait, wait, wait. Like, <laughs> like we're just trying to figure that stuff out. But within the, the editor, just kind of spending those things out, uh, you know, taking that pancake and then pulling it apart to make the 3D version of it. Uh, but there are limitations to it, that, that's for sure. It, but less than I thought there would be uh, from the start. It, it's so automatic that you don't need to worry about 3D world building pretty much ever, because you're only building in 2D. We have, you have all these little triggers and, and little kind of map icons set up so you can add different things like enemies and checkpoints and puzzle triggers and weapons to collect and all those different things that are just built right into the the level editor, which is just makes it so much easier. I think it's a really important feature, and I think that's why we focus so heavily on that in the beginning. We're obviously still working on it, but um, we're going to continue doing that and you're building a way more robust terrain system that will look a lot better than what we have now. We've worked on this game for probably two and a half months now. We've only been working on it for like two months, maybe even less than that. So. Like, like, the progress that we made in this short amount of time is pretty amazing. The comments that we see on, you know, Twitter and other social media is just people being like, Oi, what? And I do like that. Uh, but I, I also I also feel like people are going to be pleasantly surprised at how natural it does end up feeling. Uh, well, at least in terms of this very specific mechanic, which to me is very unique to our game versus any other game out there.